Ooh, we, I got a treat for you. All right, so uh, this black queen, yeah. You know, these black queens are gifting their sons so much. You know, black mothers do so much for these black kings out here. You know, when these black kings go to jail, who the first one they call? They mama or they daddy, okay? When they in the hospital, who they call? The mama or the dad? Exactly. So I'm going to let y'all know. You know, uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, the mother gifts her son with three houses, girl. Yes, three houses. Ain't that amazing? Uh, 10K for his 16th birthday to build Generation Wealth. He only 16 and got three houses already. All right, check this out. Number one, so you got a real estate power of attorney. You got an LLC and you got a state certificate. State of Ohio certificate. Yeah. But wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Gift number two. What does it say? Ohio quick clean deed. According to your real estate, your LLC, mommy purchased your first house for you. It's all ready, it's all set. You got a tenant in there. I don't I don't get everything for you. Gift number three. Ohio General Warranty D. That's right. That's house number two. All in your name. Get number four. What is it? The house. That's house number three. But it's something about house number three, though. I brought you the pictures. I brought you everything. This one, you gonna do it. It's something else in there. What's that? A ten thousand dollar check. That's your money to fix that house up and renovate it. That's a two family. So you got two singles and you got a two family. I even made it even better. I even bought the notary here so you can notarize them. And all you gotta do is Monday and take them down to the county auditors and it's all yours. So you got three houses all paid for. Every last one of them. Two of them got a tenant in it and then you can work on the third one and you can do your own thing. All right, there we go. Look at these mommies. I hope he do right by his mama. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes these stories don't end. I ain't going to be negative. But comment, let us know what you guys think. That's him. He's a, a house owner, you know. All right. Hey, she got something to say. Okay, she said, my two boys are my world, girl. Okay, and I would do anything for them. Okay. I understand firsthand how hard it is for a single mother to be raising young black men in today's world. My boys are just like other typical kids. They like to listen to all that rap music, play the video games, wear their hair crazy, etc. I talk to my oldest all the time about what he wants to do. And if something ever happens to me, I would need him to make sure his little brother is okay. He always says, yeah, okay, mom, stop talking like that. We talk about how to carry yourself, never to be a follower. Don't let anyone stop you from pursuing your dreams, etc. These last 16 years have been a full ups and downs and dealing with issues that a lot of people do not like to talk about. I have stood by his side through it all and never once gave up or let the streets or anybody steer him away from me. During our many conversations, he always says, Mom, I want to get into real estate and be a chef. We applied to a business program and a chef program for him to do his junior year. He interviewed for both and was not chosen for either one, okay? And he was so hurt and thought it was because of, of reasons, but I just told him it will be okay, and he and we will 
go another route because mommy already had things in the works, but I couldn't tell him what it was because I was saving it for the right moment. His 16th birthday just happened to be that moment for him and was and for uh and was around the corner. When I presented him with them gifts, it was to let him know and show him that no matter what, doors don't open for you. If you continue to push forward, the right one will open and mommy just happened to have the power to open that right one. All the hard work and dedication I put into working and making things happen for my kids. She love her kids pretty much. You know, come and let us know what y'all think about that. Ooh, I'm tired of reading, y'all. I'm tired of reading. All right, I'm out of here. DJ, you already know what time it is.